Over the course of his filmography, Martin Scorsese's films have featured some great musical moments, from instrumental scores composed by some of the best musicians out there, to what I'm going to be focusing on today, his use of music and especially pop music. A lot has already been said about his frequent use of the Rolling Stones, but he isn't just using music that he likes. His musical choices help to enhance the narrative and tell us a lot about his characters. For example, in Goodfellas, the film can roughly be split into three distinct segments. First, in Henry's youth, his infatuation with the mob is matched with period-appropriate romantic music. Jumping ahead 20 years after he is a part of the mob, the romantization has dwindled, but now he is loving the rock and roll lifestyle that comes with it. The background track is classic rock from the late 60s and early 70s. His drug usage and paranoia is reflected with frequent changes in the song in a fast beat. The last 20 minutes of the movie show his disenfranchisement of the mob lifestyle, and it plays without any music until the very end credits. Patty's Lamination is an Irish folk song that is used in Gangs of New York. The song, much like the film, focuses on the mistreatment and discrimination towards Irish immigrants during the 19th century. Although this is far from subtle, it helps illustrate what I've always taken as the main message of the film. That the crime that his future films would highlight all started somewhere, and its history can be just as dark as its present. He also uses the Dropkick Murphys I'm shipping up to Boston in The Departed to help set the scene and show off the history of crime that helps shape the city. Mean Streets in many ways encompasses the main ideas found throughout Scorsese's entire filmography. The film is about Charlie's struggles to live a moral life while the seductions of immorality surrounds him. There are two scenes in particular that use music to show off this contrast. First is the introduction of Charlie. We see his personal life, thoughtful, full of regret, and silent, no music plays. But then we see his public persona accompanied by Be My Baby by the Ronettes. The rest of the film focuses on his attempts to live a life somewhere in the middle of these two. His introduction is completely different to the introduction of Johnny Boy, a cocky, young, up-and-coming gangster who lacks morals entirely, whose arrogance is reflected with Jumping Jack Flash by the Rolling Stones. This is his favorite usage of the Rolling Stones music, to show a mobster who is so caught up in the lifestyle that they're unable to see the real world. Over his entire career, he has used 10 songs by the Stones, yet only in four movies, Mean Streets, Goodfellas, Casino, and The Departed, his four mob films. But music serves one more purpose. It's an escape from a world that offers no other release. His 1974 film Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore focuses on an abused mother who has dreams of leaving her old life behind and becoming a singer. New York, New York is a love story that spawns out of Jimmy's music, and a major theme found throughout his musical documentaries is musicians finding their only escape from the trauma of the outside world from music. Yeah, it's an indescribable. Actually, you kind of, you know, on a really good night, you kind of feel like you're levitating. With Scorsese, I love how he's able to take something that is used as commonly as music and make it something unique. He's never just using it as background sound, instead making it a vital part of his storytelling. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed. I love Scorsese's movies so much, and his great use of music is just one part of that. I briefly discussed some of this in a previous video, but I can never get tired about talking Scorsese, and I'm excited to hear what music will be in The Irishman. This was the last video I made in my little short spree. Next week, expect an update and then back to regular content. Until then, if you missed last week's video on the Princess Bride, I put a link to that on screen, so check that out if you're interested, and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.